you have to always remember that your investor is that individual, average American, uh, could be a mom that we used to call mom and pops, right? Um, that's, that's out there. Um, you have the opportunity to target them on social media or, 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 or in other ways with, with your opportunity. And you have to be really clear about who you are and what you do right up front so they get it because you got their attention for a second, right? And you need to bring them something that is number one, um, easy, the structure needs to be easy to understand, whether that's common equity or preferred or something. Along. Once you get too cute and, and complicated, you lose the average individual. They don't, they don't understand. Number two is the investor needs, it needs, your message needs to resonate to them. They need to feel like they want exposure to this, that there's potential for this. They, they, it, this is something that they would use, or this is something they believe could become a lot more valuable down the road. And number three is it needs to be affordable, right? You, 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 if, you, if you're coming to investors with a 25 or $100,000 opportunity, maybe okay for some. Certainly there's a lot more friction in that type of a sale, right? There's a relationship, there's diligence, there's comps, there's advisors. You know, when you're bringing someone in, in, in an investment opportunity for a few hundred dollars or a thousand dollars that they could put on their credit card, they see an ad, they click on it, they watch your video, they get invited to participate, they click invest now, they enter their credit card information, they swipe and they're a shareholder. That is powerful, really powerful. Um, now it doesn't work for everyone, you know? It's not like you just put up an offering with an invest now and you and you grab a bullhorn and everyone's gonna come flocking to you. It could be a waste of money if you don't market that and you don't promote that properly. We are obsessed. <laughs> about understanding how to market this properly. We're not a marketing company, you know, but we're, and we're agnostic to folks, to, to different service providers that our issuers choose to work with, right? But we certainly know who they are. And we certainly have been watching their success or lack of. Um, and that's a big value add, I think, that we could bring. Um, you know, just we've been at this for a while. We know who the marketing and PR firms are. Uh, it's not, a, by far, not a win for everybody. You know, it takes a lot of different ingredients going at the same time to assure a successful offer. Um, but, but that's something that we, we, we try to be very helpful with and, and we, we keep trying to innovate to become more helpful. For more episodes, visit thedealflowshow.com and subscribe.